guys, it's your boy JGL here, and we are back with another Food Wars video. Alright, but this time, a little different. I got my own, uh, well, Burger King, but in Australia it's Hungry Jacks. Because when Burger King came to Australia, there was already a Burger King franchise here, so they named it Hungry Jacks. So in Australia, it's called Hungry Jacks instead of Burger King. But I've got my own version. We're going to compare Australian Burger King to US and Japan. And we're seeing what's different. So I'm keen for this. Also, thank you all so much for 100 subscribers. Um, it's bloody amazing. I don't I never expect to get here. But uh, thank you all so much. Um, appreciate all the love and support. And uh, yeah, thank you all. Let's get into the video. From calorie count to portion sizes, we wanted to find wow. out all the differences it's between Burger here. King in Japan and the US. This is Food Wars. Oh, it's nugget. Here's everything you can find on the menu at the Burger King in Japan, but not in the US. Here's everything you can find at a US Burger King you cannot get in Japan. All right, so let's Bro, start with lot. exclusive burgers. So here we have teriyaki lettuce burger and teriyaki Whopper. <laughs> so this is the one part I want Next, to help you have. Honest. Avocado salad burger. I can't get heaps of uh, research ah, to see ah, what they have and what I don't have. Baby. Look at well, this. I can tell you and what we don't have. Whopper. <laughs> it's totally different. This one is so huge. And avocados, tomato, no tomatoes. I don't know why. Next, we <laughs> have quattro I love this guy, cheese though. whopper. Oh. We used to Big have this. Boy. I don't think we, we do anymore though. Smoky Australia. Barbecue Whopper. And Smoky Barbecue Whopper Junior. And here is nice. Spicy Whopper. Ooh. It's hot sauce. We still have the classic Next, Whoppers over we here. Have Many types of Whoppers. Chicken Burger. Ooh, it's got a lot of tartar sauce. Chicken, Jesus. crispy. After burger you know. King in Japan just released a brand new burger called Guilty Burger. It's basically butter burger. Why? What have you done? Let's check out this nice. Guilty Butter Beef Burger first. The bun is different. Itadakimasu. What does that mean again? That means butter flavor, that's but What's that mean? I don't feel as guilty as it claims. This one is Guilty Butter Crockett Sandwich. Ooh. Guilty. This dude takes so long though. He, he talks and a lot and eats all the burgers. Guilty <laughs> Butter Chicken Burger. First one is something that BK has excluded. Oh my God. This is called the Texas Whopper. Is that was disgusting. <laughs> Two patties, cheese, bacon, bunch of veggies. Wait for it. The triple whopper. We have this. Look it's it's messed up. Sizes. We, we oh, have wait the triple a whopper. Bit. It's completely flattened the bottom bun. And there's nothing between up. the patties of meat. <laughs> what the cheese. hell are you guys doing over there? Next. Uh, oh, the bacon. That's really weird. Oh my god. Looks to be a. Pretty bacon centric. Looks like a double like whopper a... with cheese, bacon, mayo, ketchup, mustard. They didn't mess with the veggies. Thank you. You're not fooling anyone getting lettuce. I just say like a bacon cheeseburger. The rodeo burger that. is a little guy with onion rings. Onion rings? The rodeo yeah, burger. Yeehaw. Onto I the feel chicken. like we'll have a lot compared to US. Japan is not about same stuff. what we call the original chicken sandwich. And I don't know why. We do not have that. Maybe just to set itself apart, the chicken sandwich is this like sub shape, right? This is like, it's like I'm holding the phone. David? This is great. Chicken Junior, spicy chicken junior. BKs in the US have something called the chicken sandwich. You can get the sandwich regular or deluxe. You can also get the sandwich flavor, regular or spicy. So here is That's the cool. regular, regular. And as you can see, just comes with sauce and pickles. We don't have this. Chicken. You can get it deluxe and spicy. So we went with deluxe, comes with all these Actually, no, we do. Brush off when you... Only recently, uh, Australia brought out um, Jack's chicken, uh, crispy chicken Jack sandwiches or something like that. So we now have our own chicken like this. Not as crumbed and chunky. It's more of a patty, but still crumbed. But it's good, it's nice. Eating it. And it has got a spicy kind of hue to the chicken there. 
Here is our side menu. Let's start with this one. We've got hot dog. What? It's got such a big sausage. <laughs> this one is chili it's beans hot guy. dog. And next we have this little guy, snack chicken. We and don't last, have to see that. We have this one, chili cheese fries. And if you Jesus. want some veggies, you can order Caesar salad. But my bad, I forgot to order. Japan has some so mad so stuff compared to us. We never have fries. As you can tell, they look like fries, but they're pieces of chicken. We used to have these, no, not anymore. You can get matzo applesauce, jalapeno. Don't cheddar. think we'll get that. I've never heard of these. We can't get these. And now I know why. Burger King in the U.S. has two I think that's ice real coffee flavors, mocha and vanilla. I think so here we have both our them. dessert menus. Here we have coffee float. A little bit. Bro, Japan's got so much better things than us. Our dessert menu in Australia isn't that great. Although, to be fair, I'm from WA. So WA could be different to over east. I won't lie, they could have some different no, stuff. Think, sorry. And we have melon soda float, Coke float, and Coke Zero float. And here we've got premium sundae chocolate and coffee. Yeah, that's what I have. And here is our chocolate sundae and strawberry sundae. And my favorite is this apple pie. What? We don't have the, oh, it's a bad pause. We just have a chocolate sundae, not a premium one, and a caramel and a strawberry. I don't know what that, that was a bit strange. Desserts. Here in the US, you get yourself a Hershey's sundae pie. Ooh. This one might have uh, got a little roughed up in transit. And That's always right. Working, you can also get various shakes. Here we have Oreo shake, a chocolate Oreo shake, a chocolate shake, and a vanilla shake. So here are our drinks. Bro, they legit Let's start with this. Just have heaps of fucking random stuff, but they don't have a. What do we have? Chocolate, uh, like a sticky hot cake. It's like a chocolate cake, little little round cake. Chocolate sauce comes out of it. Not bad. This one, this one is ginger ale and phantom we melon, that. oolong tea. Their drinks are gonna be so much better too. And orange juice. And this one is Earl Grey oh. iced tea. The lids are so Next strange. we have Darjeeling tea. And Why don't they just have a lid on their things calpis, instead of like plastic? Which you guys call it Kal Pico in your country. But in Japan, we say Karu Pisu. I know it sounds like Kao Pis in English. Yeah. If you say Kalpiko to Japanese people, they will never understand what you're talking about. So in Japan, once again, we say Karupisu. Repeat after me. Karupisu. Karupisu. Very good! Oh, right, I smashed it. First things you can get, you can get the orange juice guy. Yep. And you can that. also get Capri Sun apple juice. No. Shout out to the pouch. Burger King in the US has Coke products as well, but we have something called a Coke Freestyle machine, if you haven't seen it, it's a big machine that has a bunch of uh, Coca-Cola related They're beverages, crazy. mix and match them. Anyway, we can get high C fruit punch, high C pink lemonade, this is gonna be a lot. mellow yellow, power aid zero. We don't have this in Australia. Powder, barks, diet barks. I wish. You can also get yourself a fat free milk. It's so good. There it is. Sweetened or unsweetened tea. I think I got the sweetened. I don't want any tea. Tea sucks. We also have something called frozen Cokes. That is this right here. As yep. you can see, it's been sitting for a while, it's starting to separate. But we have frozen Coke. You also have a frozen Fanta Wild Cherry, a frozen okay. Fanta Blue Raspberry, we have that. and a frozen Strawberry Lemonade. We also have, uh, we don't have the Blue Raspberry. I think we have bubble gum, and we have uh, mango flavored, frozen ones. The mango is the best. Mm. I'm telling you, trust me. Oh yeah. Japan has a few exclusives so that are similar but different to that in the US. So, for example, this is our plant-based flopper. This burger is made from 100% soybeans. Itadakimasu! We have a vegetarian one. It's actually delicious. I like it. I think it's the exact same. Mm. And in the US, we have the Impossible Whopper. What's the difference? Well, the Impossible Burger has all of these ingredients. So as Jesus. you can see, a lot more. I am curious. That looks like meat, right? So it's called Impossible Whopper because it has like a bunch a of. I don't think I would notice the difference. Hectic ingredients the in it. Meat with like with that char flavor that they have on there. Oh, what the hell? good. In Japan, 
we call this burger know. crispy chicken burger. In the US, we have the before mentioned chicken sandwich, which comes in varieties of spicy and or deluxe. Nice. For breakfast, our hash brown comes in one big piece. Whereas That's in the like US, we have. our hash browns come in little bites. And in nah, Japan, right we have. I like Japan's, but same as ours. Cheese bites. Look at this. We don't have and any. In the US, we have eight piece cheesy tots. Well, we didn't have either of them. And on to the US breakfast exclusives. As you can see, we have a lot more going on in oh, our breakfast. They got their goddamn biscuits. In the US, than Japan has. Here in the US, you can get your breakfast sandwich and biscuit or croissant sandwich options. Croissant sandwich is, of course, a croissant sandwich. Took those two words, put them together. Croissant sandwich. So we have cheese, bacon, fast. egg, and cheese. Ham. Yeah, we have that. Egg and cheese. Uh, and no. Sausage, egg, and cheese. So we have do you get bacon. Yeah, just bacon one, I think. Bacon, egg, no ham, or you can get uh, sausage and egg. But they all come with cheese. Uh, that's ours. I think that's all they have. We don't have the weird croissant ones. We don't have this ham. We have two breakfast burritos. We don't have them either. Enormous breakfast burrito, which I'm assuming is this one, because it is enormous. That's the packed breakfast in. Breakfast burrito junior. Look at this little guy. French toast sticks. Who doesn't like French toast? Finally, Ugh. pancake platter no, with just three pancakes. Not at all. Pancake platter with we three get pancakes. pancakes and a side of sausage. As you do. The fries at Burger King in Japan come in three sizes. Small, medium, and large. Fries in the US Same and Burger King come in four this sizes. Large. Value, small, medium, or large. Or maybe it's value, small, medium, large. Does this look right? You've outsmarted us this time. This is that large. Let's it's weigh the large fries to see how medium. much you actually get. 151 grams. What if we did a thing where like, whatever lands and stays on counts as, counts as it? Does that seem like a fair thing to say? That's really smart what I just did there, I think. Kind of. It's 195 grams? Bro! That's too much. Let's weigh Japan's Whopper. 250 grams. And let us weigh our Whopper in the US. Yo! Finish. 270? Yeah, 270 grams. It's a pretty surprisingly close. If you're not feeling like having beef, Burger King also has some chicken options. You can order your chicken nuggets in five pieces and eight pieces. Here in the US, you can get your nuggets in sizes of four pieces, eight pieces, or 16 pieces. What? We didn't have either of them. You can get three, six, or 12. That's it. That's all you could get. I don't think we had these, any of the same numbers as these guys. <laughs> it's worth noting that you can only get the 16 piece online or through their app. And even if you do, they still just give you two eight pieces. I don't know why either. So let's weigh That's eight piece annoying. nuggets. 130 grams. Divided nice. by eight equals 16.25 grams per nugget. I don't know if we can get as, right, as accurate of a measurement for something so small, so we will use this guy instead. So I'll just do this. We'll put the scale up here. Ah! What? That's a bad idea. Eight pieces is ah, 104 grams. He's retarded. Divided by eight is more than 13 grams. Yeah. In Japan, we have Jeez. three drink sizes. That's surprising. Small. And this, we have same. Small, medium, large. And large. So large. In the US, we have four drink sizes. Value, which only comes with a value meal. Small, medium, and large. Now, I want to note that the US's largest drink size is 112% larger than Japan's largest drink. That's messed up. I think ours is about to say, yeah, I think ours is smaller. You can get in Japan Our large is smaller than their medium. Over Again. here, it's the king meal. Jesus Christ. The king meal ranges anywhere from 790 to 990 yen, depending on the burger you choose. It has your choice of an avocado Whopper, double cheeseburger, or Whopper. We chose the double cheeseburger, which comes with small fries, Five piece nuggets, medium coke, and get. apple pie. 
And in the US, currently our single biggest menu item at a Burger King is the $30 Ultimate Party Bundle. Now you can only order this party bundle through the BK app. And it includes two Whoppers, two double cheeseburgers, two original chicken sandwiches, two eight piece chicken nuggets, four small fries, and four small drinks. And it costs $30. What? Hold up, let me check something real quick. All right, so I just did some quick maths. So our largest in Australia has two Whoppers, two cheeseburgers, 10 nuggets, four chips, four drinks. So it's less than theirs, which is, this is mad. Um, and that comes to $55 Australian, which in US is $41. Australia, we're getting ripped the hell off. This is outrageous. Bro, this is in mad. In Japan, a Whopper cheese set, it costs around 890 yen, or seven dollars eighty cents US. Whereas in the All US, right. the same meal they're going to come up with some mad stuff now. Is I'm a disappear. Twenty nine cents or one thousand fifty nine point six five Japanese yen. What about the medium? You get that the medium fry and medium drink. It's ten dollars and twenty nine cents or one thousand one hundred seventy three point seventy one Japanese yen. What about the large? Poof! Hey, there it is, right in front of me. Large fries and drink. $11.29 or 1,287.78 Japanese yen. Bro. Let's look at calories. In Japan, a Whopper is 676 calories. The calories aren't too bad, but watch out for the sodium. The bite. sodium bite. One Japan Whopper is 113% of your daily recommended Filling amount up. of sodium. Too much. In the US, our Whopper is 667 calories. Both Whoppers are pretty comparable. Bro, look at the sodium. Categories. But there's one statistic that really stands out, the salt content. The sodium level in Japan's Whopper is That's messed up. and 22% higher than that in the US. Let's make Jesus. that a meal. A Whopper with large fries and a large Coke is 1,323 calories. And the same meal in the US is 1,680 calories. So a lot more. Now, a big portion of the calories actually come from the right, large. That's coke. messed up. The US's is roughly 182% more calories than that of Japan's. Let's look at the highest calories. The, the classes are ridiculous. The double whopper the chips, cheese the drinks. is here. <laughs> Eating one of these is already half of your daily calories and a little over your daily recommended protein. The main thing to watch out for here is the sodium, which is 152% of your daily recommended volume. Whereas in the US, oh. the highest calorie sandwich is the spicy chicken deluxe sandwich, seen here. If you're worried about your health, no. steer clear of this one. The fat content is 190% your daily oh. allowance. And the That's sodium is over 200% of your daily allowance. Yikes. As I mentioned earlier, the biggest menu item is the king meal. That's messed up. If you get it with a double bacon cheeseburger. Oh, that's a bigger meal. The that's the biggest meal. That's not making any sense. That's family meals? 66% of your daily calories. And of course, the $30 ultimate party bundle, which is 8,903 calories or 445% your daily caloric allowance. That's not bad if you divide it between like four people then. Right, so we're almost there. Our biggest burger is our triple whopper in Australia, uh, which is 1,490 calories. So we're just off them in our whopper. This is just a little sandwich. That's the best stuff, Ben. Um, well, I hope you guys like this one today. A little bit of different, a little bit of Australia's input. Um, let me know what you think. <laughs> Hopefully you can draw it a bit better next time and get a bit more organized. But... Um, yeah, if you enjoyed it, leave a like and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next one. Cheers, mate. Back to the